Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody's asking how to make a cut line around this uh, inside of these letters. And I don't quite understand he has a cut line right there. And if we move it out of the way, there's actually two cut lines. So I'm going to delete that one. I do not know why you would want a cut line there. So I'm going to delete that one for right now. He can change that, but you've got a cut line around all your letters. But the question was, how do you make a cut line around that? And you've got your duplicate distance set on quarter quarter. I would change that, but that's your prerogative. I'm just going to take the smart fill tool and fill in this, this, uh, spot that's transparent, I'm going to left click, right click, and then I'm going to go to effects and contour, and I'm going to contour to the inside 0 0.02, just a little bit, and hit apply, and you see it put a contour around there. Now, if you don't want that, if you want it right on the edge, we'll show the difference. Let's go to object and break the contour apart. You could have a little bit of space off the white or you could just cut right on the white that's probably what he's wanting so that you just have to smart fill it and just move it back now let's let's say uh i'm right and he doesn't he wants a cut line around this white well the white is a humongous white blob let's take our yellow box and it's behind those letters so to do that, we're going to contour to the outside, the 0 0.02 for right now. Whoop, I had the yellow block contoured. 0 0.02 to the outside. And it deck actually does a fill. So what we're going to do to avoid that, we're going to left click, right click so it doesn't have a fill. We'll make that in red just so we can see it. And now we're going to contour to the outside in black. It just puts a little bit of a contour on it. Same thing here, and I would do this before hand. You do the interior contour, and then break contour apart. And then if we watch here, if we take that interior, interior contour and move it over, that's our old contour, this is our new, but we don't particularly want these little bitty sections, or do we? So let's take this, and let's, let's actually get rid of that contour I made earlier, and let's take this, don't really need it anymore, but let's take this and make it red, and now let's contour, put it back. So now you've got the contour around the inside and the outside. Now, except for the, the A, which was probably solid in the B, so then you'd want to do the same thing is just fill that in and uh, left click, right click, contour to the inside, 0 0.02. Go up to object, break contour apart. Click on the inside, go ahead and make it red by right click and then move it over two nudges and now you have a contour right on the edge or if you want it inside the edge like this it just all i don't know what he's really looking for but this way you have a contour around the whole thing and if you wanted that back to white let's take this contour and nudge it over and fill it in with a white then you can nudge it right back and you can see it's behind the it's back to where it was you've got a white uh um, evidently he's printing this so you've got a you've got a contour around on the white and on the outside you would still need to do the bees and like on this particular one the bees are inside of here and they're too really too little so what you could do is just grab your shape tool and just delete those and then come back and contour them and even on the H's, I would maybe do that. So let's look at it again. Let's move that back over. So now you have no contour. I think the H, well, the H's are right on the white. So it ought to, I don't know what he's looking for. And, you know, for instance, maybe make it look better. I would take, take these two nodes out, take that middle node out, and you could actually uh, select both of them 
right click and go up to, or just select them and then go up to align, align uh, vertically and say, okay, well, that didn't work. Align horizontally, I should have. <laughs> align horizontally, not vertically. And then they aligned them up. You know, then I'd go through and maybe, because if you're cutting this out, the less nodes you have, the sharper it's going to be, like that node right there, uh, even though it's contour, and then just take those. Then you could right-click and turn it into a line to get that back to a line. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.